Hi, I'm Lars. Welcome back to my workshop. Um, still working on the table saw. Haven't moved any further. So we have electric run to a, a drop pull down cord. And I just got this steel in. Clean up right here. But today, this is not what we're working on. These are for my Beesemeyer uh, Bees um, fence that I'm going to be putting in. Um, when I get these done, these all have to get cleaned down. They got to be spotlessly clean. I've got to drill some holes in this. This eventually will get over to here. And this will get mounted on the front of this frame. So, need to get this frame built. Once the frame's built, then we can get onto this. So, this is probably a few weeks out still. Um, so, let's talk about what we're going to be working on today. I need to build another one of these benches right here. So it's going to be a quick little build of the bench and um, then we'll keep on moving on from there. All right, so let's get to it. All right, so in order to build the, the, the top part of this bench, you need a sharp pencil, some sort of a square, tape measure, drill bit, and a Torx bit. Why a Torx bit? Why a Torx bit? Because these are the only screws that I will use. I don't know if you can see the end of that. They're called star bits, whatever, they're Torx 25s. The only ones I use are from GripFast. Um, no, I'm not being sponsored by GripFast. Not being sponsored for anybody, but if you want to sponsor me and send me like 10,000 of these, that would be great. Uh, these are deck screws, they're triple coated. The reason I use them is because a Phillips head, when you're trying to take out a Phillips head, they tend to strip out really quick, especially if they're sitting in a piece of wood for a really long time. Now. Everybody builds things with the intentions of them never to come out. Um, you also build things with the intentions of these never to rust. However, neither one of them are going to happen. They're, you're going to take things apart. These are going to rust, especially in decks. Um, and when they do, and you try taking them out, they're going to snap. So you don't have any way to get them out. Um, usually the grip fasts, are, they're triple coated. They're, they're a better screw than most screws out there. And with the star on the top, you have instead of just four places to hit the to get onto the screw you have all these little tips that are in the on the, on the Torx 25s okay so when they go in they go in tight um, when they come out they come out easy so this is why I use them like I said not sponsored by grip fast um, if they want to send me a bunch of screws that'd be great you know so anywho why do I have five posts for or five uh, splines, if you will, for uh, building this. When you've only got, you know, two, four, six, eight feet. Okay, so there's eight feet, two, four, six, eight. Well, just like when you're putting in fence post, you need that starting fence post. So you're starting at zero, two, four, six, eight. All right, so you need five. I'm gonna get busy on this.
So right now you guys are probably looking at this and saying it's all wibbly wobbly whatever. Um, as you notice when I cut the 2 by 4s they were, as you notice when I cut the 2 by 4s they were straight. Everything was great. Everything's great. Well, problem is we have a lot of humidity here today. So when the 2 by 4s got cut, they immediately decided, hey, I want to twist a little bit, giving us what's going on behind us. Now, um, so when the table was upside down and not connected, it was kind of twisted, all right? That happens in the Midwest. It does. I mean, I'm sorry people may disagree with me in the comments or whatever, but it does. I've got a bunch of 2 by 4s sitting here. As long as you, you can see them in the back, I don't know if you can see them or not, over here, right here. Um, as long as you keep them standing straight up, they're not going to twist and bow. Sometimes when you cut them, that air gets into them and they just start going, ooh, let me twist. They will straighten back out with some weight on them. Um, this bench will be perfectly straight. And as you can tell, well, as you can see right now, there's hardly any wobble to it at all. Okay, I'll get this here secured down and over the next day or two it will definitely and over the next day or two it will uh, it will it will level out um, just got to something you just got to get used to here when you're building stuff in shops in, in the Midwest filming yesterday the uh, memory card filled up didn't notice it because uh, the camera didn't die and there's a lot of noise in here usually when I'm filming uh, but as you can see I got the table on tabletop got all the screws in got to use some longer screws in the, in the uh, middle of it uh, this piece of plywood has been sitting in my shop for about six years kind of bowed up a little bit so the longer screws have to pull it down um, as you can see, the table is really straightened out. Remember how it was really rocky? Um, I may have to adjust this leg a little bit just because of the floor, where the floor is. But as far as between the two tables, uh, it's, it's level between them. So let's call this one a wrap. Um, thanks for coming to my workshop. Uh, if you like the video, click like. Please subscribe and hit alerts if you want to see more videos like this. Again, have a good day.